Good evening, good evening YouTube. Anyways, I'm going to give you some information about Martin Transport. Uh, my opinion. Now this is only my opinion. But uh, I've been out here 32 years. Haven't been at a lot of jobs. My last job I was there 14 years. Before that 18 years doing moving and storage. But uh, today's November 23rd. 2021 a couple days before Thanksgiving I'm out here in Banning California I'm gonna take my 10 here too much traffic right now and uh, my opinion my opinion is five stars five out of five I think it's a really good company like I said I haven't been to a lot of companies before uh, my last company was great this one's awesome too Maybe I'm just a lucky guy, I don't know. But uh, I'll tell you what's great about it. Now this is my opinion. We have guaranteed pay over here. My route or just regional alone. I started out in February of this year and I, I did regional. I live in Phoenix and uh, I was doing a lot of the north -e northwest, northwest, and I didn't like the mountains, and man, we used to sit a lot at the shippers getting loaded, because I haul a reefer, they do reefer, they have some dry van too, but uh, I have a friend that runs dry van, he, that's what he likes, I like the reefer, anyways, so I switched uh, routes, now I'm doing Phoenix, oh, let me go back, let me go back, when I was doing northeast, or Northwest, they wanted me to stay out three weeks, come home for three days. Okay. I did that for like two, three months. And I was fine with that. But then I switched. Um, now I'm doing Phoenix to Texas. Mainly Laredo. I do Dallas. And Houston. And I turn right back around. And half of my look... Half of my trailers are already preloaded. We call them spots. They're already waiting for me. I just hook up to them. Uh, I noticed on this, this pickup and these deliveries on this route, they're pretty quick. And uh, we have a minimum pay guaranteed a week. On regional, what I do is $1,400 minimum guaranteed a week. So if you run 15, 1,600 miles, say, say there's a lot of high winds, say uh, there's snow on your Qualcomm, they'll notify you and tell you not to drive. They don't want you driving in snow. You don't chain up, you don't even drive. You just wait it out and you get paid. Um, it's a safety issue and the equipment's expensive. You don't want to go out there and get into a fender bender or hit the rail. You know, it causes damage. They'd rather pay you to sit. So, they'll pay you $1,400. Say you only did 1,500 miles. On my route, it takes me, they give us plenty of time. Every run I've done, I've never been rushed. I'll load one day, I'll drive. 500 miles the next day 500 miles and I'm at my des my destination there are a thousand miles from Phoenix to Dallas next morning I wake up and deliver hook up to a trailer do 500 miles do 500 miles again and I'm home now by the time I get home it's been four to five days we'll say five days well I'm out of time when I get home just about so I'll take about a 12 hour break at home. I live pretty close to the terminal. So I'll go home and lay over. Then I'll take off the next morning. Or maybe I'll get a, if I do a reset, I just go home for 34 hours, up to like 48 hours. And that's when usually your uh, minimum guaranteed pay will kick in because when you do a reset, you just took off two days. Well, you got five days before payday or whatever. 
you're not going to make a whole lot of miles because you got to load, unload, and drive. So that's when you get paid your minimum pay, fourteen hundred bucks. The insurance is reasonable. 401k, they match up to three and a half percent. They have stock available after six months of employment. Uh, what else? Their equipment is well maintained. Any problems, you ride it up. You know, they prefer you to fuel at the terminals and uh, you ride it up, put it in the shop. They usually take care of it pretty quick and when it's time for an inspection they know it they will pull you in and they will inspect your your, your truck they don't let nothing go by the only bad part is you're governed at 65 miles an hour you stay in the right lane heck you can pass prime that's about it but i'm all right with that i don't have any pressure i don't have any stress it's uh like I said, it's a five-star company. My last company, I was there 14 years, and that was a good company. I guess I got bored, so I went over the road again. That was like overnight. I mean, it was it was a good company. But uh, if you have any questions about Martin, hit me up in the comments, and uh, I'll try to answer them. But uh, it's a really good company. I'm not a recruiter. Uh, I'm just giving you some information. I got hired February, I don't know, the first week, February 8th or something like that. Uh, 21. I got into a tractor, a 2021 Cascadia. It had 100,000 miles on it because they get them in in February of 19. They get, or February of 2020, they get the 21s in. Like when I was in orientation, they already had the 22s in. So, yeah. The truck, to me, it was new, but it had 100,000 miles on it. And they do have a pet policy. It's a $500, what do you call it? Um, deposit they take it out $50 increments it does have to be like under 20 pound pet dog or whatever I don't think they allow birds or whatever but it has to be 20 pounds or under and you have to give them the paperwork on it with all the shots and they want to see all that uh, the, they have a writer program on your Qualcomm you just put their name in you put their net information and boom so you got a writer program yeah, they, and they pay detention. Uh, some states like California, the, the detention's not that good. To be honest, it's not good at all. Other states, you know, you're getting loaded. You're laying down watching TV. And uh, say you're there three hours. Sometimes they get paid 60 bucks, and all I'm doing is watching TV. So, yeah, and sometimes, like in California, they don't pay hardly anything. But uh, I'd have to say it's a good company. Give them a call. When I talked to the recruiter, everything they said was true. I know there's recruiters out there that just say anything to get you in. What Martin said was true. Uh, yeah, I've had three dispatchers. When I first got hired, I had a, I guess he's like a temporary dispatcher his name was Nick cool dude anyways he was a great person she gave me respect I gave him respect everything went good and then when I got I think it was like 30 days I had him and then I got my regular Northwest dispatcher his name was Zach another cool dude same thing. Gave me respect. I gave him respect. Never met him. Never met neither one of them. But on the phone, awesome people. And then I changed my Northwest route to Phoenix to Texas back and forth. Now I got another dispatcher. And it, her name is Ashley. Another great dispatcher. 
you know, maybe I'm lucky, I don't know. Or maybe it's the way I treat them. I don't bug them, only if I have a problem. I'm not that guy that calls three times a day just to freaking, I don't know, ask stupid questions. But, uh, yeah, I got good dispatchers, good runs, plenty of time, never, never rushed, never stressed. It is what it is. You get there, you get there. I don't, I don't stress over traffic. I don't stress over accidents. Not my accidents, but that happened in front of me. It, 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 things happen, you know? I see drivers at the wheel like this. Ah! Dude, should have left earlier. Or maybe your company doesn't pay you enough where you gotta haul ass to make a buck. I spoke to this driver just I think two nights ago or two mornings ago. And I was telling him about Martin. And he goes, how fast do those trucks go? Oh, because I asked him, he had a Peterbilt. Oh, over here they have Freightliner Cascadias, uh, Kenworth, T680s, and then they got the Peterbilts. I like my Cascadia. Behind the passenger seat, they don't have a bottom shelf. I could put a four foot refrigerator back there. So, yeah, they have good room. But anyways, yeah, I told the guy, hey, how do you like your Peterbilt? He says, oh, I love it. Wouldn't drive nothing else. So we started talking about Martin. And he goes, how fast those trucks go? I go, 65, we're governed at 65, it sucks. He goes, oh, I, there you go. Can never drive for them. I gotta do 70 or 75. I said, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm used to it. My last company only went 68, and we had speed gauge. If you went five miles over the speed limit, you'd get dinged and called in the office. At least we don't have speed gauge here. You can go up to 75. Once you hit 75, man, they're gonna start hitting your Qualcomm, and you're gonna get a warning. So that's going down a hill. But anyways, and then he, he tells me, uh, I told him about the minimum pay. He goes, I, I told him that, uh, you know, I run about five, 600 miles a day. I don't stress. He goes, oh, I'm a runner. I'm a runner. I got to run 700 to 750 miles a, a day. He goes, I, I run 3,500 miles a week and I make $1,300. I go, shoot, my minimum pay, I could run 1,500 miles and make 1,400. He goes, yeah, but you let you carry guns in your truck? I'm like, no. <laughs> and he goes, well, I can. I go, yeah, until you get caught. I go, okay. But yeah, he was super trucker. He just wanted to drive fast, but his truck was dirty. He was dirty, you know. But anyways, it is what it is. If you got any questions, just hit me up. I'll try to answer them. And uh, like I said, I'm not a recruiter. I'm just a driver doing my my daily duty, man. So I'll talk to y'all some other time. Later.